Thank you for joining me, Dr. Fetke. Um, you've been a proponent of low carb and healthy fat for quite some time now. Could you talk about what led you to this? I should declare my conflict of interest. I've got lowcarbhealthyfat.com, of which I've done nothing with it. Okay, but I've, it's a, um, I grew up, um, still remember the school swimming photo. I was quite good at swimming, but every kid there, and we're going back into the 60s was standing up there nice and straight and slim and there's this guy and by definition today I was just a bit overweight but in those days I was the fat kid and um, so my mother had me on diets as a 10 11 12 year old I can still remember it and uh, I can still remember one of the Israeli diet but I had to eat 10 apples a day which in retrospect was never going to work but so I, I was always and then I became a teenager I was exercising to outrun my diet, but very fit, very, you know, and, and fast. And as a result of that, my weight came down. But I was, in again, in retrospect, eating a highly inflammatory diet. I'm always a bit plethoric, but if we go back to my teenage, I was bright red. I was getting burnt easily. And I'm far less red in the face now, and I'm far less sun sensitive now that I've been on this diet. We can go into some of the science behind that. My clinical practice, um, I, I had my own health issues. I had a tumour on the base of my brain 23 years ago now and um, some of the sequelae of that. And, you know, in retrospect, 10, 15 years ago, I was heavier than I am now by 20 kilos, you know, 45 pounds. I had low-grade hypertension. I had you know, pre-diabetes. Um I had inflammatory joint issues. Now, again, it's all easy in retrospect. And then when I realised, um, <clears throat> hang on, I need to do something. So I started trying to eat, improve my health by eating by the food pyramid, uh, which didn't work. It doesn't work for most people. And I have a statement where I sort of say, you know, if you eat by the food pyramid, you're going to die by the food pyramid. And along the way, you're going to look like the food pyramid. And it's just purely we end up that triangular shape. And you walk down the streets now, and maybe not where you are in, in Japan, but you know, most Western societies, you literally walk down the street or go to the supermarket. And I actually do it because I'm judgmental. You know, it's easy. I think we're all judgmental. I'm just open about it. That I actually, when I um, look in the shop, I, I look at people's shop, shopping trolleys, and then I make a judgment on what I think they're going to look like. And most times I'm right, but it's easy to be right nowadays because, you know, the latest figures are 93.2% um, of the American population are metabolically unwell. It's the same in Australia and it's, it's a significant issue around the world. So the vast majority of people are metabolically unwell, are overweight, are in suffering from inflammatory conditions, whether or not it's their joints or their you know organs or their brain or their skin. It's literally right across the board and somewhere in the midst of all that my personal story of trying to improve my health crossed over with my patient management when I started recognizing the perils of sugar and that was pretty much the turning point I think it was about 2011 in that I came across Luke Tappy's definitive paper on fructose metabolism and went hang on whoa this is really interesting my greatest naivety was I said to Belinda, oh, this will all be over in six months when I start talking about sugar. It's so obvious how a lot of our inflammatory problems and our diet problems and our, and our insulin resistant state and our met, uh, are driven by the problems of sugar. So I started talking about sugar. I cut my leg mucking around here uh, in the bush uh, just before Christmas. So I had to put my foot up so I couldn't exercise, couldn't run around. And so I read David Gillespie's book, Sweet Poison, who's a lawyer here in Australia who'd written the book. And I said, no, this is crazy. He can't be right. What would he know? I'm a doctor. He's a lawyer. So I went out to try and disprove David both by reading around the topic and actually doing what he said. I cut out sugar, lost eight kilos in eight weeks by sitting around and doing nothing. And I went, hang on. Well, this is... So I, I know David quite well. I've you know spoken publicly about to him and with him about the fact I tried to disprove him and all I did was find out I was agreeing and then finding more and more stuff. 